If I did not study computer science at A-levels, am I going to be disadvantaged? Would I need to justify why I did not take computer science? No. In fact, our first recommendation is that people study maths, further maths and physics. This is because we believe that maths and further maths give you a solid foundation for the kind of logical and structured thinking that is useful in computing and that physics is an excellent playground for applying advanced mathematics to real-world problems. We do not mandate studying computer science at A-levels because in our university course we teach you computer science from the ground up anyway. Of course, maths, further maths and computing is also an equally valid recommended option if you prefer computing to physics. We are in principle happy to admit people with an aptitude towards computing, as demonstrated by various logical, mathematical and algorithmic questions of the kind that you find in the CSAT, even if they have not been formally trained in computing. Indeed, we do our best to level the playing field by introducing OCaml as the first programming language, which is a wonderful and mysterious functional programming language that even the applicants with lots of prior programming experience are quite unlikely to have ever seen before. And for more on this peculiar strategy of ours, you should check this other very popular video. But I digress. With that said, in recent years, computer science has been the most competitive of all Cambridge courses with respect to admissions, with around 15 candidates per place. So be aware that many of your competitors will be fluent programmers, and several of them will have the computer science A-level, even though, as I said, we at Trinity do not regard it any more highly than the physics A-level. So it's always worth being genuinely keen about programming and having written interesting programs of your own initiative, even if you did not formally study this topic at A-levels at school.